Hey guys, Mike Selfie Queen here, and um, I'm recording the next episode of our Nuzlocke right after the last one that I just recorded because I am a complete doorknob and uh, I just messed up really terribly. But uh, I wanted to do, go ahead and record the episode now. Um, that way I wouldn't forget so I could let you guys know and that way you wouldn't be like mad at me or anything and you didn't understand what was going on. So, um, in the last episode, we did a bunch of stuff and we caught a bunch of Pokemon. So, what happened was, as you can see, everything kind of looks the same. But it's not as it seems. Because when I went to go exit out of Fraps, I forgot that if you exit out while you still have something running on your Decime, uh, it'll close the program. And it did. It closed my game and I didn't get a chance to, to save, so I lost all of that stuff that we did in the last episode. And I feel really bad, <laughs> but I did. And so I've decided that I had to go back and do it all again. And I went ahead and caught the same Pokemon again and kind of just like didn't worry about the Nuzlocke thing because I wanted everything to be pretty much the same as it was. Uh, so I recaught another Purloin, which I actually did find a Purloin in the first try again. But it's a lonely nature. I don't know if the nature is the same. But this one is a little bit different. It's got the limber ability, which means it can't get paralyzed, which is really actually a lot better than the other one. And I hate that I got the better one, but I'm not complaining. And this one is more of an attacker, I think. And it's really fast. And it's a lot better. And then I caught another Bareep. This one is a modest nature, still has static, and has special attack, which is really good. So I think the nature is different on that too. But I wanted everything to be the way it was. So I leveled up uh, Tepig to level 10, got Perloin to level 9, and Mariup to level 8 because I wanted to continue on and fight some of these people on the ranch. And maybe we could get to level 10 by doing that. I did level up off screen. I made Marie go to level 8. And as you can see, um, Hugh is over there because when I was looking for Marie, I accidentally went up and he just said, uh, he just gave me a paralyzed heal and stuff. And uh, so we're still looking for this Herdier. Oh, I haven't seen you before. Would you mind sparring with me? So, Nuzlocke back on, continuing. And hopefully I will not forget to save my game before I quit anything ever again. So, we're gonna continue on like it never happened, and let's go. We're on the way, we're looking for Herdier, and we are fighting the guys in these ranch here to level up. As you can see, Marie passed Thundershock. Which is good for us because Tackle wasn't doing very much. And we should be able to take these guys out with ease. The reason I didn't level up Marie to level 10 was because um, I figured I could do it by battling the Chiners here. Because I, I just beat one and it's already level 9. Uh, I'm actually going to get my Perloin up to level 10 first. Maybe I can get it from this Mareep. And besides, since Perlin has that ability where it can't get paralyzed, uh, if this Mareep has static, I won't get static. See? There it goes. Doesn't affect me. Which is really cool and awesome. So this Mareep can do nothing to us. And hopefully we'll get a level off of it, or at least halfway, or enough to where I can do it off screen and it'll be really easily, easy, able to do it. So, um... Down with the Mareep. Yeah, 73. Wow, astounding for one so young. You're quite impressive indeed. I don't know what a janitor would be doing here in this ranch, but I'm not going to question it. So, looks like we can go this way over here and get an item. And this guy wants to battle us. You sure are unlucky to have run into someone as strong as me. I doubt it. Because you have... Up a trap. <laughs> so I'm gonna send out Marie Pierre and get that 
paralyzed. Whoa, that was close. Critical hit is not good. No bueno. But we're gonna take out that Batrap. And get 67 points. Psyduck, uh... Even though that would be really good, I don't want to risk it. So I'm gonna send in Perlin and just have Perlin take out the Psyduck. I'm actually really glad the first one that I ran into in here wasn't a Psyduck because most of the Psyduck in here, if you're doing a Nuzlocke, it's not that good because um, most of the Psyduck that you run into at first have Cloud 9 ability, which it's okay, like, if you're in the middle of a hailstorm or something, but, uh, it's not good. I don't like Psydex with Cloud9 because it takes forever to train them. Since you, uh, you have to wait for that Cloud9 to come up and, uh, I don't know. I just don't like it. But I did use one before and I'm not complaining because they are actually pretty good. So we are going to continue on. And, whoa. Yarp. <laughs> Sounded like a hard ear. Did you hear that just now? I'll check this area. You go deeper in the grove and look. Alright, man. Got an item here, another potion. I should actually start using these potions. Because, well, we're not going to use it right now. Because we're not going to have to battle this, uh member of this teamy guy here. Alright, Marie. I guess I'll go ahead and take you on. I don't know if Thundershock... Thundershock probably won't do too well, so... And you paralyzed me. You know, you just have to do that, don't you? You know, just have to paralyze me. So yeah, anyway, um... Oh, that doesn't work on me. All we're gonna do is pretty much get that hurtier from that weird, suspicious looking character. And then we can... Well, I might end the episode after that. I'm not sure. It is. It will be a really short episode. Because I want to train off screen. And uh, get my Pokemon up to some higher levels before I go and take on the gym. That was no use in fighting you. Alright, so here's this person. Let's see what's going on. Hey, don't push him. That cry, you found it. What a relief. Okay, I'll go call his trainer, so you stay here with it. Tch, you little pest. I'm a member of a group that strikes fear into the hearts of those who stand before it. Team Plasma. Ever heard of it? Yeah, I've heard of it. That's right. We're the righteous group that tried to conquer Unova two years back in order to liberate Pokemon. Whatever. Fools would never understand us. Still. First I got lost chasing Hardier, and now some nosy kid caught me. All this is your fault. Take this. So he just threw frustration at me. <laughs> All of that, and he gives me something. Okay, I'll use this opportunity to retreat now. And he gets away. Oh well. Whew. The Hardier seems to be pretty happy about it. <laughs> and no one else saw anything. Hardier! What made you come all the way back here? Well, at any rate, I'm really grateful for your help, you two. You're awfully calm about this. Your Pokemon might have been gone for good. Take better care of it. Well, there goes you, being his normal schizophrenic self. Huh. I wonder if something happened to him. It's like he's afraid of losing Pokemon. Come on, Hurtier. Everyone's waiting. Let's go home. Uh, I guess he is. But now that we got that done, we can finally leave the ranch. But I don't know if I want to leave the ranch. I kind of want to train up in here. Why I keep yawning? But I really do need to get some levels before I challenge my gym because if I go like this, there's no way I'm gonna win. Especially with those, uh. You know what? I'm not gonna say anything. 
I don't want to spoil it for those of you who don't know. I don't know how you couldn't because there's so many Let's Plays of this game. Man, I am really loving that Limber ability right now. Because this Marine is all it's doing is it's trying to get me with that Limber and it ain't working. You can't take me! We should get a level off that. Yep. Level 2 in Burma. And we learn Sand Attack, which isn't very useful. But we could probably use it during the gym battle, I guess. If we ever get into a bind. Okay. I'm gonna have this lady heal up my Pokemons. Actually, we can go ahead and continue. Because there's something that we need to do before we face the gym leader. So let's continue on. Back on this Route 20. Oh, I did not grab that item. I guess I forgot. Whoops. I'm stuck. I guess that means I probably must have got that item over there too, so... I'll go check real quick. Yep, forgot this potion here too. Good thing I'm coming back. Getting everything. Alright, let's go, let's go, hurry up. We gotta get to that town. Here we go. Now we can talk to Alder and he can train us. Oh, it looks like you've delivered the town map to your friend. Huh. You were only gone a moment, but you and your Pokemon have grown. Why, I could almost mistake you for someone else. Well then, instead of training you, I would like you and your Pokemon to give me a hand. Okay then. Looks like we're gonna give him a hand. Let us go. Gotta see what he wants. Little kids. Oh, are we going to help train that person, sir? Really? But that trainer looks really tough. That's right. This trainer may be tough, but you can learn from losing as well. <laughs> I love how he just thinks that they're automatically going to lose. But, uh, they are. More importantly, haven't I been telling you just to enjoy Pokemon battles? So, Rosa, please be their opponent. I'll show you what's cool about my Pokemon. Alright, so it looks like we're gonna take on these little kids. Bring it. You have a Pan Sage. Pretty cool. So Marie's not gonna do very much. I will get off a Thunder Wave. And then I will switch out into Tepig. Since this guy is level 9, Marie should level up. Which will be really good. So let's just switch back into Tepig. And take out this Pain Sage. Oh, you would lick me, wouldn't you? And I would get the Paralysis. So now we're both paralyzed. And he's faster. And I got the paralysis! Oh, joy! How come you're not getting paralyzed? You're getting everything. You're getting critical hits and no paralysis and everything. And I'm over here getting paralysis. Oh, finally I get some speed. Alright, Pan Sage sticking out. Got 77 for that. Marine good to level 10, which is amazing. <laughs> Alright, I need to get Alder to teach me some more things. Yeah, you do, buddy. Yeah, you do. That was a fine battle, both of you. Well, next we have... Ready! First, we have to heal your Pokemon, Rosa. Thank you so much. Some Pokemon battles are decided by type matchups. So let's see what you got. Probably like a... Pamper? Pamper? Yeah. So, Marie can take out this Pamper. No big deal. I'm probably getting a level from it too.
This is what I like about having an electric type because I can take care of these water types without having to get a grass type from the, uh, the first part. I could have chosen Ivy, but I decided not to. I'm going to go to level 11 and let's learn Cotton Spore. Um, no, we're going to keep the old moves. Don't need that. That was truly a losing battle. I could tell that all of the Pokemon were enjoying themselves as well. How about it, Rosa? Pokemon types are very important in battle, aren't they? Water is strong against fire. Fire is strong against grass. Grass is strong against water. I know. Time matchups don't decide everything, though. But listen! When a Pokemon uses a move that matches its type, the move becomes more powerful. Let's heal those hard-working Pokemon. Marie you did a good job for Rosa. Meeting people and Pokemon, meeting Pokemon and people you never would have met otherwise is truly one of the great things about traveling. That's it. They don't even give us nothing. Shame. What the heck? Hello? I know this is sudden, but nice to meet you. Now, don't say anything, just take this. Okay. So we got a metal box. That's a metal box. Yep. And people call me Mr. Metal. By the way, do you know a competition called the Metal Rally? No. Whether you know or not, I'll explain it to you. The Metal Rally is an event that evaluates various activities of trainers. So, in commemoration of your participation, please take this medal. We got a medal. And here's some help for... I don't really care. So, basically this guy is... Uh, the guy that you always see at your uh, Pokemon centers, he gives you medals for doing certain things in the game, and uh, you can add him to a metal box and do all this stuff. Really, a lot of people don't like him because if you do not collect your medals from him, uh, as the newly opened Pokemon Gym. Okay, but anyway, as you collect medals and you do things that you don't realize that you're doing, when you get to the, uh, if you accidentally talk to him, he will go on forever, and it'll be, you'll think it's a glitch, but it's not, but he'll go on forever, and he will give you medals for days. So I make a, uh, make it something that I do to talk to him, and, uh, get my medals, so I don't actually talk, um, accidentally talk to him and get, have to sit there and spam forever because he's gonna give me a bunch of medals. <laughs> so anyway, that's the middle thing. It's not really anything that, it's not really that big a deal. As you can see, I'll go ahead and show you. I think he does give me some medals actually right now. Yeah, yeah see, he gives me a medal, the Dousing Beginner. And another one. See, he could go on like this forever if you don't talk to him. But since I did... There we go. Okay. So, I am going to end the episode here. Um, probably going to do some training, maybe. Uh, we got some pretty good levels right now. I might actually um, go to the next town. Uh, the last time we were in and um, go practice on one of the gym trainers and uh, if it's too hard then I will go um, train up some but if not then I think we'll just go ahead and take on the gym in the next episode so I'll see you guys next time <laughs>